Hi, I'm Mr. Hing. Welcome to University of Radio Malaysia. This is a lecture for week two. So the first video that we are going to watch is based on the textbook, chapter seven, simplifying algebraic expression. So in the next three video, you shall learn chapter eight, nine, and 10. We use the books foundation mathematics as a guide. You may or you may not buy this book. This textbook is available in the Learning Resource Center. So you can click on the link or copy the link and then view this textbook and uh, follow the chapter given here. So we shall begin to these lectures on simplifying algebraic expressions. I believe that most of you have learned this. Nevertheless, this is just a revision. Let's look at the first example. So you have 3x plus 7x minus 2x. You notice that these are all consists of x. So all the terms are like them. Therefore, you just add the coefficients of all the terms. You shall get the answer x. x. That means you just get 3 plus 7, you get 10. Minus 2, you get 8x. So this is quite simple. Let's look at the next one. Can you simplify 3x plus 2y? You can't because 3x and 2y are not like term. So you cannot simplify 3x plus 2y. Let's look at the third example. x plus 7, x plus x squared. So the first two terms, x plus 7, x are like term. Whereas x squared are not like term with the first and second term. And if you look at the first term is x, there is no number in front of the x. So the coefficient is actually 1. So what you do is you take 1 plus 7, so you should get x, x. And the x squared, you just leave it there. Let's go to the, the other more complicated, uh, complicated expression. So can you pause the video for a short while and try to do these questions? After you have completed, then please continue. So what we need to do is we have to arrange all the terms, all the like terms together. So you look at AB and 9AB. So these two terms are the same. So we shall bring the 9AB to the second term. And you look at the minus 7B squared and 8B squared. So these two terms are like terms. Whereas a square is the only term by itself, so you just copy. So for the first term now, you rearrange it, you have ab plus 9ab. So again, it's 1 plus 9, you should get 10ab. a square, just copy. Minus 7b square plus 8b square, so you just do the simple minus 7 plus 8, you should just get 1b square. Of course, you are not going to write down 1. So I hope you get the answer correct. So these are the exercise that you may need to do. You can refer to this video or you uh, look at the textbook from the LRC. We shall do this during the seminar. But if you wish, you can do these questions. You may not have to do every one of the question. Perhaps you just do the odd number, or in this case, alternate question. Example, you do 1A, 1C, 1E. 2A, 2C, 2E. That is good enough. Unless you have made mistake and you would like to practice more, then you may do all. Let's continue. Now we look at this. <clears throat> now you have a bracket. So three, Bracket 4x simply means 3 times 4x. Of course, you don't have to split it up like the note given here. You can just simply give the final answer at 12x. This is just a simple explanation. Same thing for the next one. You can straight away give the answer as 15y. 
So you need not have to do the middle step here. You can do the calculation mentally. Next, you have 5a times 3a. So the coefficient 5 and 3, you multiply, you shall get 15. Then for the term a and a, you multiply, you shall get a square. So the answer is just 15a square. You don't have to write down the intermediate step. So you can actually give the final answer straight away as 15a square. Then the next one, 4x squared plus 7x to the power of 5. So can you do this question? You may pause for a while, or you may know the answer straight away. So the answer 4 times 7, you should get 28. Using the index rule, so x squared times x to the power of 5, you shall get the index as 2 plus 5. So your answer will be just 28 x to the power of 7. So you don't have to do like what the textbook gives you here. You can immediately give the final answer as 28 x to the power of 7. Then, can you do this mentally? So I'm sure some of you already get the answer. See whether your answer is the same as what is shown here. So your final answer is 14 b squared. So this is quite easy. Next, these are the exercises from the textbook. Again, we will do this during the seminar. You may uh, uh, pause this and then look at the questions and try to do as much as you can. Otherwise, you just leave it during the seminar and you will spend some time to solve it. Again, you need not to do every one of the questions here. Next, so this is the distributive formula. So when you have a number or a term, you multiply a bracket, you expand it, you have AB plus AC or AB minus AC for this. So let's look at some example. So can you remove the bracket from the part A and part B? I'm sure you can get it straight away. So let's look. You expand, you 6 times x, you should get 6x. 6 times 5, you get 30. Part B, 8 times 2x, you get 16x. 8 times minus 4, you get minus 32. That is pretty easy. So if you have all this, it's the same thing as what I showed you. So you can get the answer, all right? Next. This is the same formula. Now we have two brackets. So can you expand this? So you have to multiply time. So in this case, you don't have to follow this. So they are breaking up the second bracket into two different terms. So actually, you can just do four time multiplication. That means x times x, you get x squared. Then the next 6 times minus uh, x, you get 6x. After that, you take x times minus 3, you get minus 3x. Then finally, you get 6 times minus 3, you get minus 18. You may not follow the way that I multiply. So simplify the two middle term, plus 6x minus 3x, you shall get 3x. So your final answer is x squared plus 3x minus 18. So, can you pause for a while and do the question A? Once you have finished, let's look at your answer. Of course, you need not have to do this step. I would prefer just go to the third step here. So, you just expand. So, 1 times 2, you get 2. Then, uh, next one, minus x times 2, you get minus 2x. Then 1 times minus x, and then minus x times minus x, you get plus x squared. Simplify the 2 meter term, your final answer shall be 2 minus 3x plus x squared. Next, again, please pause for a while, see whether you can expand this. So when you complete, 
let's check the answer okay again you need not have to do this step so you multiply you shall simplify then your fun, final answer shall be minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. let's carry on so what about this question you have a three in front okay so what we do is if you are careful then you just find the expansion for the two bracket first so x plus one times x minus two you notice that this is actually different of two square so you multiply out you should get x square plus x minus x minus one so the two middle term cancel shelf you shall get x square minus one now only you take the three in front to multiply with what you get the answer so your final answer is 3x squared minus 3. Of course, you can do straight away without doing this intermediate step. So actually, you can just get 3. And mentally, you know that x plus 1, x minus 1 should give you x squared minus 1. So expand, you just get it. So you need not have to do all this intermediate step. So these are, again, the exercise that we will be doing. So you may try to solve them and this is the other few more questions from chapter 7. This is the end of the first lecture on chapter 7. Thank you class.